so welcome Ooh. welcome back bitches um ah, so today's gonna be an interesting day we're gonna be reacting again cool cool like usual let me start off by first saying welcome to my channel hello <laughs> my name is Gabriela Chicana um, and if you like this video I would like you to hit that like button really you can hit that like button if you like the video by the end of, you know, just this whole thing. Um, and my weirdness, you can hit the red button, the subscribe button. I'd really like that. Yeah. And if you have any suggestions to reactions on anything that has to do with Latin music, please uh, feel free to comment down below. Awesome. And um, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Hi. <laughs> And if you aren't new here, welcome back. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Today we're gonna be reacting to um, Maui Ricky featuring so many amazing women. Um, let know, me list them. You start talking about them, and then bam, it's one video of them all. Right? It's all. It's like it's like the it's like Latin artists were like, you know what? She needs to react to just everybody at once. <laughs> so let's list off these amazing ladies um, that Maui Ricky decided to put in the song as the remix so like i said this is a remix of mi mala um i have not heard the original so i have to do that at some point but i believe the original was actually with Mau maui ricky and carol g right like she was originally on yeah. that one carol g's still on it too yeah um and now it's featuring my girls becky g leslie grace and lali like what <laughs> all right so um, let's get this started. I'm actually really excited. Someone actually commented for you to react to this, so I was like, ah, I know There you go. Uh, there it goes. I'm gonna put the comment, your comment, of everyone who, of who su suggested for me to react to. Right over here. Yes, let's do this. I'm excited. You want me to make the screen bigger? Yes. I already like it. <laughs> oh, that's who my friend met yesterday. My Ricky. Ooh. I really like this like mellow feel. I've heard about Maui Ricky before, but I've never actually sat down to listen to one of their songs. Oh, my power's back! Oh, Becky G's up next. Oh, no, it's Lali. <laughs> Just shake Ah! Sorry. She's so fucking pretty. Oh, Carol G! I love her style. I don't know why. I first heard Carol G with her collaboration with CNCO. After that, I just kept hearing more about her. I know the one with her as a bad bunny. Oh, I have that one. one. Mm -hmm. I love the setup of this music video. You know what? I feel like they knew that it was going to blow up because we don't usually see music videos for remixes of songs. True. Which I find really interesting that there is a music video for this. She always has amazing outfits. Like, is it just me or does it look like her eyes are colored? Oh no. Froze. What's that gonna free that? Said Jay. Mm -hmm. That still sounds good. <laughs> They all have different color schemes. I love that. <laughs> is it just me or does it look like Becky G has colored eyes? All the time, right? It, maybe she does. I've never actually lucky. met her, right? She's one of those lucky Mexicans. <laughs> like my dad. 
like my sister-in-law. <laughs> I really like this song. Oh, I think she wears contacts. Yeah, she wears contacts. Oh my god, that is so great. Okay, so I need to find an Instagram post that I think either Becky G posted. About what? About this music video. It was like a mini interview that they did. Oh, it was behind the scenes, yeah. Yeah, but where Mao and Ricky were talking about how, like, yeah. women power. <laughs> yes, please. Two hours later. All right. Awesome. So, I think I'm gonna start off by saying the most obvious thing about this music, about this song and this music video is that I love it. I absolutely adore this music video. As I've been reacting, and I haven't even noticed, and it's all thanks to really to to Ruby's suggestions, is that I haven't noticed that everything that I've been reacting to lately that have been catching on on my channel is I've been reacting to women, like women artists i've been re i've been reacting to female talent i've been reacting to the women that are growing in the latin industry and i think that that's the best thing that i could do because as i feel like we shouldn't maui ricky said it perfectly there shouldn't be any rivalry between male and female in the music industry especially in the latin music industry because as i said before unfortunately in our culture in any hispanic culture in any latino culture we have this like idea of like of of machismo and that's always been a problem and we've never been able to kind of like step forward in the in in like the media and be like this is wrong like we shouldn't push aside a female artist just because she wants to do a genre that is m mostly dominated by by male artists and i think throughout the years with people like carol g people like leslie grace people like um anita that have come in and like took over like that kind of industry that was mostly male dominated as i was growing up my whole life is like the best thing ever because artists like artists like maui ricky artists like um daddy yankee artists like j balvin they've done something that a lot of people have not even given them given them acknowledgement for is that they've opened up like their arms and be like it doesn't matter if you're if you're female if you're a girl or if you're a woman you are a really good artist in this genre and I'm and I'm going to collaborate with you, which is something that I think a lot of male artists never did. <laughs> Everything the opposite. Like I said, they used to use women as just objects in their music videos. I've n I, I, growing up, now that I think of it, I had never seen so many, I had never seen one collaboration with a male reggaeton artist and a female reggaeton artist. Like I never saw any of that growing up. So seeing that now, with like, like for example, J Belvin and Anita did already two collaborations. It's just, it, yeah. And but even then, like I've, I've, I've never seen this many these this many collaborations with like both sexes, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think like what Mao Ricky did is a step forward, not only in collaborating with not one, two, but four <laughs> of the greatest women right now in Latin music. But they also stepped forward, even if it was a three minute video, they stepped forward and they were like, this is what it looks like to be to be open in, in, in Latin music is is acknowledging that there's female talent here and we should bring them up instead of like bringing them down. Like, what do we gain about bringing them down? We gain so much more bringing them in and giving and letting them share their talent with the world. And look at that, like I haven't even heard the original and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the original is pretty good because A, it has Carol G in it and that's in itself a collaboration. But now that it has four, like three more women included in it. And this one's more fun. And this one is more fun. And like it, the, the aesthetic of the music video, the way that they were like, they're not afraid to be kind of like to, to bring out their like sexual, 
like the sexual part of the like female aspect and in bringing their, their own, benefits like in, in their in their own each of their own exactly ways. no one is competing against anybody they're owning their own space like it's yeah. It's something that's really, really amazing. And I think, and like I said, like I was telling her when I started watching this music video is that I think that this kind of collaborations are starting to pick up in the Latin industry because I have never, I hardly, like there are music videos, but I hardly ever see music videos for remixes. Like I would have loved to see the remix for Daddy Yankee and like Havana, like that's, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but like- Performance damage is nominated. <laughs> but like I said, like Mi Mala now, Maybe it was known before, but I never like I've never I never heard of the song before. But now that I had this collaboration, like this immense collaboration, I was hearing it everywhere. I was like, whoa, like what's going on? Like promoting promotions. Then again, I follow like all four of these women on on Instagram. So, and now as of right now, Maui Ricky have now gained another follower on Instagram. Just saying. This right here, this song for me is really special because like i said before it didn't only like, include people like female artists that i can look up like i can still like look up to and be like wow like that's amazing two artists that really have not had the struggle of knowing what it's like to be a female artist in this industry in, in the latin industry and in just the music industry in general stood up and spoke about it and actually acknowledged it and let and let these women speak for it too you know becky g i know is, is is notorious for always standing up for that and i love her for it and then carol g is a really intelligent woman and leslie grace is like her her strength and her like badassness <laughs> that's a, that's a word is everything and then lali her artistic her artistic view each of these women have something completely different when it comes to their art and it's amazing. Like I think it was a great mixture between these these four women and it's so funny because Ruby just said it's like the universe was like, "Hey, you're already reacting to a lot of these. Why don't you just react to one video in general?" <laughs> like it was it was amazing. So I'm very I am very 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 amazed at this music video. I loved it. And I love how Mao and Ricky were very open about the problems that are, are in the Latin industry and that they're then even if it's just one music video for now I think this will ricochet and like ripple out into the rest of the industry and like help out help out maybe more artists will do this maybe you know we're gonna see a lot more collaboration so the point is that they did something very amazing and and it doesn't matter if it's just one music video they did something like a lot of people don't do something you know and I'm not I'm not trying to put like attention on the men because I know that the power of behind all of these all of this conversation is the fact that the fact that women are killing it in the game and they've had such a hard time being able to do this and now they have like this platform that everybody's putting, you know? Why I'm I'm thanking people like Jay Balvin and Mao and Ricky and stuff because they have the privilege of being male. And they're using that platform and they're using that privilege to help their fellow artists, their fellow female artists to come up and be like, hey, I have a voice too, I have talent too, and I deserve to be recognized the same as every one of my male counterparts. And that's what I think is like amazing. So I think that Mao and Ricky did say something, said something really important in, in the behind the scenes is that there shouldn't be a rivalry and there should never be a rivalry when it comes to Latin music. So due to that form of thinking, they just came out with a hit <laughs> and i think it's the best thing ever now let's talk about the aesthetic of the music video how badass was that <laughs> like they all all of each women had like their own little section they even had their own like color and they had it's like it represented like them and they weren't afraid to be like i think i think it was carol g in the behind the scenes that said that this representation of, of like having their own space and like having their own like um parts in the music video is how each woman represents their sexuality and how each woman has that kind of like inner seductiveness. Mm -hmm. That's one of our, uh, she, she referred to it in Spanish as powers. Like one of our powers as a woman is that we have inner seduction and that it's not, it's okay to bring it out sometimes and be like super badass, super I think sexy. also showed the different types of Latin, right? Cause they're also making Exactly, that. cause they're all something different. Carol G is, but. Carol G, Carol G is Colombian. Okay, there we go. So we have Colombian, 
for Carol G. We have Mexican for, for Becky G. Carol G and Becky G. I barely know the sign. <laughs> Carol G is Colombian. Becky G is Mexican. Leslie Grace is Dominican. And Lali is Argenti like Argentinian. So then again, like Ruby just made me realize variety. <laughs> like like it's it's showing all the spectrum of what it of of Latin cultures as well. So and then I don't know what Mauriki are. Like I don't. They're definitely. Kind of want to look it up. Like what what where are they from? <laughs> Venezuela. They're Venezuelan? Huh. I wouldn't be surprised they had that kind of Venezuelan accent. Okay. They're Venezuelan! I said that. Nice. Okay. So even then, see another like like another another um ethnicity that is in Let's this music video. This music video is like a variety. And like I said, it's not gonna cover all of them ever, but this has like a lot of variety. Maybe one day <laughs> there'll be a song where each and every single Latin like country is represented but as of right now this is really good <laughs> so i want to thank maui ricky and i want to thank all of these female like I, they should be called the four horsemen like really <laughs> they should be the four horsemen and women um so i'm so glad that you guys agreed to do this you guys made the song like <laughs> you literally you blew my head off so I want to thank everyone for watching this video. I want to thank Mauriki. You guys did an amazing job. And my friend met you. <laughs> anyway, you guys are amazing. Thank you. I hope to, I'm going to, I'm going to research your music more. I'm so sorry. I'm very like, <laughs> I, I don't listen okay, to the radio. Just, this just gives you a chance to. Yeah. Like I said, I'm the example of what happens when you listen to a, when a, a remix and you get introduced to a new artist and you're like, hmm. Let's go check them out, you know? So, yeah, that was my little discussion slash reaction to uh, Maui Ricky and Mimala featuring the four horsemen of women. I'm just gonna call them that. <laughs> um, and they were amazing. So, thank you guys for watching, and um, I hope to see you guys next time. Mexicana Americana out with her hot Cheetos. Maybe instead of jarritos, I should just do chips now, like takis. <laughs> you know, because people love it when I chew. Okay, Shake. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>